Thank you, Steve. Your Excellency, the Deputy President, the Party Leader Safina, who is my predecessor as my Member of Parliament, the Honorable Paul Mwite, and the Safina Presidential Candidates, my friend and brother Jimmy Wanjigi, Safina Delegates Hamjambo. Asante Nisana, I feel honored to stand before this gathering today and address you briefly because this is a party I think whose roots as Paul Mwite would agree with me and Wamagata I think this party the roots is Kikuyu constituency where Paul Mwite came from as member of parliament but it has grown to be a party that has proved itself over time from the time Safina was registered it has served this country even without members of parliament in parliament or MCAs and councillors. It has continued to exist as a political party and strengthened our democracy. And we cannot fail to mention the great work and the huge contribution to the growth of our democracy that the Honorable Paul Mwite has played in this country. And I must congratulate my brother Honorable Paul Mwite, because he is a man who appreciates what he is worth and knows how to hand down power and instruments of power within the party and even in the country because for the time I have served as member of parliament for Kikuyu, I have only but benefited from the wisdom of the Honorable Paul Mwite. I came to know Jimmy Wanjige when I was elected member of parliament around 2014 and we have grown and become good friends since then. If you read the public investments committee report on the SGR report, it had a lot of input on information that was given to us by Jimmy Wanjigi. And it is indeed Jimmy Wanjigi who over a cup of tea advised me that we should advise the president not to take that railway beyond Nairobi to what is now called the railway to nowhere into a private farm in Naivasha. But we were never listened to. Let me take this opportunity to congratulate you, Jimmy, and ask you to continue walking and working with us to liberate this country from the economic terrorists that you have just said who are governing this country and who imagine they not only own this country, but they own all of us. It is indeed true that they have come to believe that right after independence and their fathers took over our land, the land our forefathers and our fathers fought for, being the primary factor of production land and the other four factors of production, one of them being labor, I believe these three families, the Kenyatta family, the Moy family, the Odinga family, when they look at the rest of us, they see laborers, they see slaves that should be slaving for them, and we should thank them that we have the privilege to serve them. It is time now to tell them that we are not slaves of three families in this country. We belong to this country, we shall reclaim our country, and we shall end the economic servitude that you have subjected us to. And that is why I join the Safina fraternity in congratulating my brother Jimmy and asking you a Safina, when I look at this Safina, this ark, kiona ikicheza cheza pale, kiwekwa mugu mbele, yuekwa mbili nyuma, na handles inakaa kama wheelbarrow. Na naona tukishikanisha hii wheelbarrow na Safina tutaweza kukomboa nchi yetu from these people who believe that they own our country and they own us. We must prove to them that if Moi could become president, if Kenyatta could become president, even Jimmy Wanjege can become president, just like William Ruto can become president. And even you seated here, irrespective of where you are born, you can become a president and a leader in this country. And that is a country that we ought to all build. And I want to encourage you, let us work together, even as we go into the elections, let us partner in the economic liberation of our country because as the deputy president has said this is not a constitutional moment 
this is an economic moment. It, can, it is an economic time for us to liberate our economy and our country from the servitude of those that believed they owned this country. Na nataka niseme kwa kumalizia haiwezekani ati wale wametuweka kwa shida walizo tuweka ndiyo watakuwa solution ya hizo shida wametuweka. Ile shida and Jimmy engaged me when I was chair budget and appropriations in the National Assembly. And I must confirm here today, Jimmy, that part of the wisdom you shared with me on economic management, I shared it with President Uhuru Kenyatta, and I warned him that in a short two to three years, this country's economy will go to the doldrums if we do not act right. But again, because of state capture, because of conflict of interest, there was nobody to listen to us. We have time now to listen to each other. Between Safina, UDA, and all the other political parties in Kenya Kwanza, we can liberate this country and hand it back to its true owners, the people of Kenya. Asanteni Mungu Abariki. Asante Mwishmiwa, Asante. Uh, Poleni, I know you really wanted Honorable Sudi to speak, lakini ameniambia kona homa na sauti mepotea. Lakini naomba asmame awasalimie. Just. Wana Savina Oye. Wana Jo Mimi Mundosi Akiwa Aba Mimi Siongiagi. <laughs> Rafikiangu Jimmy Wanjigi. Kiongozi Wetu Wainji Naibu Arais. Kiongozi Wenzangu Wali Hapa. Wana 